thanks to Rick Friedrich, we have built something that everybody out there can assemble. This is exactly the way the machine looks in the final kit. And so here it is running all 10 coils at the RPM that it's going to run. It's going to be lit up like this. There's a little coil in the back that's going to light it up. So that's the excess energy just from the mechanical on the wheel. And uh, I have fully authorized this kit for Rick Friedrich to manufacture. And so what we've done is we now have made this available for everybody that was asking for this kit. And here it is. The objective is to charge a lot of batteries. You know, just... Right, so what you're talking about is you want the machine to charge a pretty good sized bank of batteries, like yeah. 1800 amp hours. Yeah, and we're not talking about a load right now, a mechanical okay. load on this, at this low voltage. We're talking about really good charging all the way through. Well, and under voltage. load, with all 10 coils, you can you can get 23% mechanical energy, which is about the same as a combustion engine because it's not a motor. I want to make that quite clear. This is not a motor. This is an energizer. This collects energy and then sends the potential energy to the secondary battery so that the battery charges itself. Now later on, later on, as we make advancements at the kit, the people that are doing the kits will provide those advancements for a nominal fee. So these will be add-ons? Yeah, there will be add-ons. It'll be add-on to the kit. That's great to know. It's like, nice. Yeah, like if you want to put, say you want to run a water pump, you're going to have 23% efficiency, maximum power with 10 coils. All right? Now, if you gear this correctly, you can run a water pump all day long. You're not going to run a high-speed water pump, but you're going to pump water. And you're going to pump it for no extra energy in this field. Can I put it in my electric car? Well, if you can fit it in your electric car, yes, Tony, you can put it in your electric <laughs> car. But what, one of the major advantages of this kit is that it's got flexibility. If you have an electric car, you can hook up to your electric car to charge the batteries in your electric car radiant light. Yeah. And you just have to remember with this kit that impedance is very important. That means these cables have to be big because you don't want to lose anything. And that's provided, there'll be wire provided in the kit too. Right. So the kit comes complete with all the wire, all the transistors, all the resistors, a complete schematic diagram, an assembly manual on how to put this together. So this is an exact copy of my 10 coiler that I built upstairs. Yeah. So this technology then is tried and true. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've, I've made this out of wood at home uh, several years ago. When John made his, I duplicated that. And then several others have duplicated that. Um, I've built hundreds of these motors in different shapes and sizes. So this was just another one. And it was convenient. And uh, we added several little advancements to make it easy to work with. And... Uh, so this is the exact copy of what I built that I've showed in energy from the vacuum tube. All right, now Rick Friedrich has also manufactured in a kit form all the fans that you see here, this big one, which is a recharging fan. It recharges its second batteries, and it looks like it's a capacitive discharge. This one's a capacitive discharge which is the tape drive motor kit. And I think this kit right here is uh, a representation of the, of the, the TUV monopole, which was uh, in a series in energy from the vacuum tube. And uh, you can see the size comparison compared to the 10 coil to the little one that was in the TUV test. And, uh, these are experimental kits for your own experimentation and understanding of what this energy is. 
So you've asked for the 10 coiler. Here it is. It's authorized by me.